Greetings folks, it's Skiz Fernando. Welcome back to another edition of Pan Asian. And as we transition into the colder weather here, one of my favorite things to make is soup. And soup, as you know, is a mainstay in many Asian countries, such as Korea, China, Japan, Vietnam. So I thought it's appropriate that we make a soup dish today that is Pan-Asian in every sense of the word, in that it originated with Chinese immigrants in the town of Nagasaki, Japan. And today it is one of the most popular dishes you will find in any Chinese restaurant in Korea. And the dish is called Champong which in Japanese translates to mix. And it's basically a hot and spicy seafood soup with plenty of seafood, vegetables, and noodles. It's very quick, it's very easy to make, and it lends itself to your own creativity. So without further delay, I'm gonna show you how to make this dish in your very own kitchen, all right? For starters, you're gonna need one package of noodles. The recipe calls for Chinese egg noodles or udon, which are Japanese noodles, but I'm using some uh, Vietnamese rice noodles here. Six medium shrimp, peeled and deveined. But as you can see, I've left the heads on here because they add a lot of flavor to the dish. You're also gonna need half a cup of squid, cleaned and thinly sliced. And six clams or mussels scrubbed clean. I've got a handful of mussels here. You're also going to need four dried shiitake mushrooms, which have been rehydrated and thinly sliced. One small onion sliced. Half a medium carrot julienned. Two scallions cut into two inch pieces. One cup of Napa cabbage or bok choy sliced into one inch pieces. One green chili sliced. One red chili chopped, and I'm using a potent habanero here. Two teaspoons of minced garlic. One teaspoon of chopped ginger. Seven cups of chicken, beef, or anchovy broth. And I'm going with chicken here. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. One tablespoon of kochukaro, which are Korean red chili flakes. And this is actually the first time I'm using this ingredient and one teaspoon of fish sauce. And I should also add that I'm omitting one ingredient from this recipe, which is a third of a cup of thinly sliced pork. But if you want to add pork, go for it. Now we can step over to the stove and deal with the noodles first. I've got a pot of boiling water here and I'm gonna add about half of the rice noodles. And that should only take about three to five minutes to cook. And on the next burner here, I've got a soup pot, which I've added a little oil to. And once that oil is hot, I'm just gonna throw in the garlic. And the ginger. Quickly saute that. And then I'm going to immediately add the onions. And just get those going. Next, I'm going to add the Korean red chili flakes, otherwise known as kochukaru. which I suspect is going to give the broth a nice reddish color. And 
And then I'm going to add the shrimp and the squid. Quickly just stir fry those. And here we've got the scallions and the carrots. Incorporate those into the mix. Just give them a quick stir fry. We're also going to add the mushrooms and both of the chilies, the red and the green. Now once the, all these ingredients have had a chance to make an acquaintance with each other, it's time to add the broth. And believe it or not folks, we're almost done because as you know seafood cooks very quickly. Just give that a nice stir. Also going to add the bok choy at this time. Now in the five minutes it took for me to put the soup together, I just cooked the noodles, so let me drain those. Flush them with cold water to stop the cooking. And there's our rice noodles. Now we head back to the stove top and we're going to add the soy sauce and also the fish sauce. And because mussels cook very quickly, we're going to add them at this time. And we're just going to turn this down now to a simmer. And remember that the soy sauce and the fish sauce are your salt in this recipe. So be sure to taste it and adjust the seasoning accordingly. And the soup has a nice, rich red stock with a lot of goodies floating inside. And you know it's done once the muscles open up like that. Now to plate this dish, you just start with the noodles and then ladle some soup on top of it. And there you have it, chum pong hot and spicy seafood soup. And this is the kind of soup that eats like a meal. So I've got my soup spoon as well as my chopsticks. And let me go in for the broth first. Mm. Wow. Really tasty and spicy. Mm. So simple and clean and tasty. And I dig down a little bit in here on my noodles. Mmm. Let me tell you, this is a great dish. And did you see how long it took us to actually make it? About 10 minutes total. As with all Asian food, the biggest time spent is going to be in the prep, chopping cutting all your ingredients. 
but this is definitely going to be on, on the repertoire for the winter months ahead. It's called Champon on Pan Asian. My name is Skiz Fernando, and I'll see you next time.